It's February in Manhattan, and for two days, the world's top purebred dogs are grooming up to compete at the event of the year, the Westminster Dog Show. Westminster Dog Show is like no other dog show. It's the oldest sporting event after the Kentucky Derby, so that alone gives it some prestige. It's like Frank Sinatra says, you win here, you win anywhere, right? Each dog is judged by a breed standard, but to take best in show, they'll need an it factor some magic chemistry between dog and handler. You have to have the bond. You have to give him a reason in the heart. I just love this dog. He's just part of my soul. Over the next two days, 2,800 dogs will compete to be crowned the best of their breed. 204 breed winners will have a chance to compete at Madison Square Garden to be crowned the finest of their group. Really captures the way that this breed moves. That's it. Seven stunning group winners will go on to compete in the best in show ring. And one exquisite canine will be crowned best in show. There's so many beautiful dogs at this dog show. That's the best. For the love of their dog, they want a winner. It happens! It happens! It happens! It really, really happens! Welcome to the 143rd Annual Westminster Dog Show. Want a cookie, Elsa? Want to get some cookies? Elsa is named after the princess. My kids named her. I would say Elsa's favorite activities are hanging with the kids, chasing them, laying in bed with the kids, and when we call her downstairs, not coming. Okay, now run and see if she... Come here. Oh. She's being a stink. She's being a butthead. We own a boarding, grooming, and training facility, as well as we breed Old English Sheepdogs under the Bugaboo prefix. I got my first bull mastiff from Heather's family. She came out here and did a couple dog shows out west. Um, we became very good friends. My first best in show, we were actually both <laughs> in the ring together, and it was pretty cutthroat. Yep. I think you had a whip it and I had a bull mastiff. Yeah, Colton yeah. won, but so, we'll let that go. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we're, we're husband and wife outside the ring, but in the ring, we're competitors. We're competitors. <laughs> Elsa came about, she's actually the works of 46 years of a breeding program by my in-laws. Swagger, her dad, is the top winning sheepdog in the history of our breed. He holds the record with 118 best in shows. We were very proud of him, but even more proud of what he gave us in the whelping box. My in-laws went and evaluated the litter, and they came back with Elsa. Cameron actually put her first group placement on her and showed her from a puppy till about a year. Elsa won Best of Breed there last year, as well as a group three. This year's Westminster will be her retirement show. She'll be semi-retired until motherhood in the spring. Anytime you're invited to go to a show where the best of the best compete, you wanna bring your best game, you want the dogs to be in top condition, it's, it's a show we look forward to all year long. Last year, Elsa was top dog in the country. So this year, we're extremely proud to take her there and show her off one last time. The eyes of the dog world are on Manhattan for the 143rd time as the Westminster Dog Show is underway. On the piers of the Hudson River, dogs of the same breed will compete against one another crowning one dog as best of breed. Those champions will move on to the night's group competition at the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Elsa is in at 1.30 in ring seven. We have about, let's see, I think we have about an hour and a half before we go in. So we started this morning at about 7 a.m. and we'll start trimming her here in a little bit and getting her ring ready. We're very excited, but it is um, a place where all the best dogs in our breed are exhibited. So, we'll see. Just a few benches away, Sophia, the number two ranked sheepdog, has her eyes on the same prize. She's doing fine. The rest of us might be a little on edge, but she's fine. 
At Westminster, we're showing approximately 15 dogs, but our top dog right now, her name is Sophia. I'm Clifford Steele. I've been going to dog shows my entire life. The reason handlers come into play is basically because owners have other things in their lives to do. We're on the road six days a week working with dogs. Frankly, when you do stuff more often, you're better at it. Each dog is different in how they need to be shown. It's something that owners hire us to do just to make their dog look their absolute best. What makes Sophia so unique is she fits the Old English Sheepdog standard so well and that she has a brain in between her ears. She's a funny little dog. She's got you know, a lot of personality. She likes to play. She likes to wiggle her little butt every time she sees us at a dog show. She gives the best butt wiggles. Oh, best of breed win in the Old English Sheepdog at Westminster Kennel Club is the ultimate. It's, it's only one show, but it's the show. We work all year for Westminster. Time check. It's 120, 117. We need to go. All right, hairspray needs to go in here. We have to brush her out, and we just make sure all the knots and stuff are out of her. And then we um, start teasing slowly until we get the shape that we want. The biggest thing you think about with an Old English Sheepdog when you're showing her is to keep all the hair up. That'll all be teasing up, making her hair as big as possible. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Which towel is that, the one up there? Yep. Nope, that's the neck, this is the floor. As long as we get her there without getting crushed through the crowd, we'll be good. After a year of preparation, the Sheepdog Showdown has arrived. Only one dog can be best of breed at Westminster. What about the I need you to clear an eye. Yep. The Old English Sheepdog is a pretty unique standard. You want a nice, substantial, yet agile dog. She has a little bit of pizzazz when she goes out there. She knows she's important. She shines. As far as our goals for Westminster, we can only control what we can control. Have her looking her best and show her best. After careful examination, the judge will signal the winner with a point. We also took best three today. Yay! We get a few hours to rest and then we head over on the shuttle in Madison Square Garden and get it ready for the herding group later this evening. Well, we finished up with Select Bitch, and she showed well, and everything was out. Of, everything else was out of our control, but we had her groomed properly, and we, we did our best. While the quest to reach best in show has ended for Cliff and Sophia, hundreds of hopeful handlers are just getting started. Westminster has always been a plum. It's like the Super Bowl. It used to be one of the most difficult arenas to get to. Crowds, weather, expense to get to New York, um, stress, strain, and it's always worth it if you come home with a ribbon. Last year, my husband, Bill McFadden, and Flynn, um, won everything. Best in show at the 142nd Annual Westminster Kennel Club will be the Bichon Frise. It just shows you never know who's going to win at Westminster. My name is Taffy McFadden, and this is Bono. I graded Bono's litter when he was eight weeks old, and he was a standout. He wouldn't stop barking at me. He stopped in the middle of the room and posed. He was the one to choose. We showed him as a baby puppy, and he was undefeated and he just had that joie de vivre. I mean, it was, you know, he was the essence of the breed. They have a lot of um, very specific qualifications. They should have a short upper arm. Their feet should lift and you should be able to see the trace of a pad when they come at you. 
they should have a very beguiling face because they're a street dog in Havana. And so the only way they can get you to come and pick them up and take them home and feed them is they have to have that come love me look. And um, I think Bono has it in spades. He's the top winning Havanese of all time, most best in shows. I just love this dog. I believe in this dog more than I think I've believed in a dog in probably 10 years. My family got into the dogs in the 50s. I'm a third generation dog enthusiast. When I got done with college, I said, you know what, this is what I really love. This is my dream, this is my passion. Boxers are my heart breed. That's what I started with. This is just my little extra. This is where my heart and soul started and it will always be my heart breed. But you know what, sometimes you just need a, something a little extra. And this is Beatrice, Champion High Tech Shake, Rattle and Roll. This is Minnie, Champion Kim Rose, One in a Minion. They both come with small bags of grooming equipment. You know, we're not talking poodles here. They come with small bags of grooming equipment, but then you also have to realize we can't hide anything. We have to breed a very good dog to compete on that level. I think both of them are Kimberly Calvaca's uh, vision of what a beautiful boxer should be and a beautiful miniature pincher should be. They have that sparkle, that shine, that wow factor. And that's what it takes to take a dog to the top. Day one marches forward as Kim Calvaca prepares to take Minnie to the ring. Who's the pretty girl? Who is the prettiest Min pin in the show? Minnie is. She knows it. Right, Min? Today is Monday at 20 to 8. It's 20 minutes till ring time. She says, I'm ready. I am ready, Mom. It starts on the breed level. That's the hardest round, because you have to defeat all the dogs in your breed. It's the beauty pageant of the dog world. The best of the best come here to compete. And every dog comes with a great team. The breeder, the owner, the handler, they're powerhouse people. This is her number, 17. Every dog that enters the ring wears an armband. If she wins the breed, it will be her biggest win of her career. While Minnie waits for her invitation to the ring, the long-haired dachshunds gear up to enter the ring next door. The shoes! <laughs> One of his uh, owners has a facial recognition problem. We saw these shoes somewhere, so she bought me a pair. And it was so she can recognize me. <laughs> and then he ended up starting to win. So every time he won a best in show, I got a new pair. So I have 26 pairs of these crazy shoes. <laughs> My name is Carlos Puig. This is Burns. Last month, he broke the record, so he is now the top winning long-haired dachshund in history. 21 years ago, I won the group here with his great-grandfather, and he was the first and only long-haired dachshund to ever win the group here. Last year, he did make the final cut in the group, which is an honor. The comments that we got afterwards were so touching because everybody thought he should have won. Being that he's retiring this weekend, you don't want to go out without winning that breed <laughs> to retire on. Let's go. Bye, here we go. The moment has come for Minnie and Burns to enter their rings. He has tremendous heart. And when he's in the ring, he feeds off of the crowd, and he loves the attention. I think Minnie is a beautiful example of a miniature pincher. I think she exudes type, movement, which is the hallmark of the breed. Minnie won the breed at Westminster. This is a great win. This is her biggest win in her career. Winning Westminster is it. We're going to Madison Square Garden. Yay! He won the breed, so we're extremely thrilled that he can retire with at least that feather in his cap. Champions of their breeds, both Minnie and Burns will now try to win first place tonight in their groups. While Carlos celebrates his victory, top winning hound, Whiskey the Whippet and his sister Bourbon get ready to challenge each other in the ring. 
It is Monday at Westminster Kennel Club, and we are waiting to go to Best of Breed and Whippets at 2 p.m. This is Whiskey. I like that Chris Stapleton song, Tennessee Whiskey. And I said, the next good male dog I have, I'm going to name it Tennessee Whiskey. And then I just needed something to match well, he that. Said, he said, oh, we need something to go with that. And I said, what about, her name is Kentucky Bourbon. She'll be showing bourbon this year, and I'll be showing whiskey. I was born into Papillons, and I married into Whippets. Whiskey is a very seasoned show dog, and bourbon is just starting out. So she's pretty much only been shown four consecutive weekends coming into this. Last year, whiskey was best of breed and fourth in the hound group, and bourbon was best of opposite sex. I get really nervous at Westminster. We're rooting equally for both dogs. Yes, but I think everyone wants to win. Yeah. While bourbon might be the underdog, anything can happen in the ring. The ideal whippet is a medium-sized dog. It's very athletic, and they want a very distinct S shape. Whiskey was the number one hound in the country. 23 best in shows. Bourbon has two best in shows, and she's just starting out. Bourbon won best of breed, and whiskey was best of opposite. That's as good as you can get. I'm so proud of her performance. It's just, it was amazing. As Bourbon heads to the garden to face off against Burns in the Hound Group, Bono eagerly awaits the very last breed competition of the day. First day of Westminster Kennel Club. It's about 3.05, and I think he's going in at 3.30. I'm excited. It's been a long day waiting. If we win in the breed, then we get to go to Madison Square Gardens and show in the group. If we don't win, we'll have a nice glass of wine and watch the other ones at Madison Square Gardens. Ready? I think just getting up in the morning, the adrenaline starts. This is a huge deal. This is a big dog show. You know, everybody wants their animals to perform their best. 25, 27. The minute Bono walks in the ring, he's so excited to see the other Havanese. He's always looking for a girlfriend or a playmate. You just hope they're focused and not paying too much attention to the crowd outside or all the other dogs. Best of breed at Westminster. Bono will face off against Minnie in the toy group tonight. While most winners have already made their way to the garden, Taffy and Bono have only two hours until their big curtain call. The lights of Madison Square Garden shine bright tonight for the best of breed winners and their handlers. The first group to present tonight will be the hounds. We're about to go in the hound group. Madison Square Garden. It'll be my very first time showing in the group, so I'm really excited. I'm Janice Hayes. This is Eminem's Calamity Jane. She's a Petite Bessé Griffon Bondion, but we call them PBGVs for short. So this breed, you just want a more compact, sturdy little dog. The beauty of them is they get to be messy, so I get to make them all pretty and they go like this and mess her all up, so it's perfect. The atmosphere at the guard and ring, you can't compare with anything else. The quality is so strong that you, you can't come here expecting to win. Last year we made the cut in the group, so a little more pressure this year. May we have the hound group in the ring, please. When you come to judge, you are responsible for picking those dogs that should be the breeding stock of the future. If they're a scent hound, they need the ears that move scent as they're trailing. Whereas if it's a sight hound, they have narrow muzzles with strong hindquarters that can power them into a spurt sprint once they spot their prey. And this is, uh, this is bourbon. If, if bourbon wins, I'll drink to that. Relax, <laughs> relax. I want them to signal me it can do the job it was bred to do, but it has a special air about itself. She'll make her selection of placements. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, my goodness. The long-haired dachshund has been pulled out first. Burns with Carlos Quig. Now, Bourbon the Whippet is pulled out second. Woo! 
Oh my All goodness, Don. All right. Here we go. I, I, oh, let's hear it for the Dachshund. Yes. Oh, first to the long hair dog. Yes. All right. <laughs> the first place dog is a wonderful dog, so we're thrilled to get second. She's so young, and she can come back next year. Who knows? Well, we definitely wanted to do more, but she showed great. So she gets to be spoiled rotten. This is his retirement. So we would have been happy going out with a group four. We're definitely gonna sleep well. Not a lot, but well. Oh <laughs> and he will get some kind of steak, I'm sure. <laughs> While Burns celebrates his crowning achievement, a top winning skipper key gets ready to take the stage. Oh my God, now we're gonna roll over. Well, this is our show dog getting prepped right here. My name is Krista and this is Colton. For almost 20 years, I've been showing dogs, but never a skipper key. This is my first skipper key. They often get overlooked in a group that's very strong with the Poodle, the Bashan, the Bulldogs. This is what you live for. This is what you show all year for. Everybody's here to win. May we have the non-sporting group in the ring, please? Each breed has specific and important characteristics based on its breed standard, looking at the type of ears or the different types of coat. This is Skipper Key, number 10. They're quick and smart. Absolutely. Skip. Skipper key has been pulled out first. Wow. Yay. Well and she is two. Krista Cook with Colton is the first skipper key to ever win a non-sporting group at History's West made. History has been made. Oh my gosh, it's a crazy feeling. It's crazy. For him to get a group one is amazing. A placement would have been amazing. It's so nice to see this great breed get a moment. Tell us about the breed. So they have like a spiky outer coat and a really soft undercoat. It takes about five years to grow a full coat. So he's at his prime right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at it, he's like, whew, I gave it all here. I'm tired now. <laughs> After a very long day of anticipation, it's finally Elsa's time to shine. We are getting Elsa ready for the herding group a lot of work, a year of work. This year, we're extremely proud to show her off one last time. May we have the herding group in the ring, please. I'm looking for that dog that comes closest to its standard of perfection. It's gotta be the it factor for that breed. You know, the true test of confirmation is in the movement. This is Elsa, who's been the number one dog in the country, shown by Heather. What a roar for uh, Elsa here at the garden. Old English. Elsa, of course. Got I mean, it whittled down. Wow. Oh, yeah. For the collie. Maybe Lars, Shepherd. and then Slick, and then Tony. And the Old English, Elsa. And Elsa. Take them around, please. Lane is a master breed of Bouviers. It's paying off here. That's right. That's right. All the that Bouvier breeding. is going to be one. Well done. Porter's two, Shepherd three, and Old English four. Thank you very much. Oh. Baby Lars, that's champion Keisha's major league, mm -hmm. wins the herding group. Got it before. That's good. Oh. Any placement's very good at the garden. She did a really good job. We're just going to go take her home and start going right now. Retirement for Elsa will be becoming a mom and hopefully having some beautiful puppies out of her to be proud of. My name is Elaine Hawkett, and the dog's name is Lars. Tell us about baby Lars. Baby Lars, he's a wonderful dog. He was retiring at the garden, because oh I have a youngster God. coming up. This was his last dog show. We've been breeding this breed for almost 40 years, so it's, it's a great, great feeling of accomplishment. With the winner of the herding group crowned, it's time for Minnie and Bono to take the stage for the final group of the night. With a little dog, they're going to see your shoes. Come on, Mimi. Our breed didn't even end till 4.30, and we were supposed to be here by 5. So, but it was OK. We did it. We're going to have some fun tonight. Right, Min? Come here, Min. We're going to have fun. She's going to have fun. We're going to go out there and rock it. To 
just getting him to focus by giving him a little bit of chicken, making him concentrate on me. All right, we're off. May we have the toy group in the ring, please. Not every dog is worthy of the final consideration. You go to the dogs that really have merit, and that comes down for me to profile and essence. This is Minnie being shown by Kim Calveca. She's been very successful here at the Garden in the past. This is Bono. This is such a fun breed. That is it. The Havanese. The Havanese. The Havanese has it. We won the group at Westminster Kennel Club. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. We were in great company and we did the best that we could do. Couldn't ask more from Minnie. Right, Mimmin? He just knows when to turn it on. <laughs> and he sure did. A little emotional. Haven't had a shot to cry yet, trying to hold it back. I believed in him from the very beginning. And at least one other person thinks I'm right. <laughs> He's going on to Best in Show tomorrow night. Westminster Day 2 starts back at the piers. The three remaining groups will work to earn their invitation to the garden tonight. Bright and early in the day, the wire fox terriers prepare for the ring. We just need to keep the dog calm and focused. Terriers are so showy and so alert and happy that, you know, it's a little bit of a handicap they have. They like to grandstand. The main thing is stopping for making any mistakes, like misbehaving. But he's pretty cool dog, so I'm pretty, pretty happy with him. My name is Gabriel Rangel, and uh, his name is King. King is a wire fox terrier. They're um, bred to hunt fox in the old days, but now they're like wonderful pets. He's supposed to be. 15 and a half inches. And the texture of the coat, it has to be hard. They have to be um, sound-minded. Like a terrier, you don't want to look at him and like, doesn't want to be there, you know? I've been competing in Westminster since 1986, 33 times. King is one best of breed. That's the most important win, win best of breed. Because if you don't win that, you don't win anything. You can go further. It's time to go to the garden. And uh, we'll take King over there and wait for the group. Now with Beatrice the boxer at her side, Kim returns to compete again. Everybody wants to get in the group at Westminster. But to get in the group at Westminster with a boxer, one of our toughest breeds out there, always has been. Wilma, this year's number one boxer, will be bringing the toughest competition. Well, we saw Wilma at the Boxer National when she was about six months, and we loved her and thought she was beautiful, and we talked to our breeder and owner at the time and asked her if we could campaign Wilma. The boxers are heading to the ring. Boxers come in with heavy ammunition. They're powerhouse people in the boxer breed. You have to be one with your dog. If I move the leash a certain way, she knows what that means. Beatrice went select in a fine field of beautiful boxer champions, and we're thrilled. That's our bee, right? Yeah, that's our bee. It's a bee hug. Well, Wilma won the breed. I'm just excited, really excited. She showed great and was, I mean, she was just amazing. Just getting in the garden is the big thing. And then after we get in there, just to relax and calm down and just to show my dog and make her look good. That's it. That's all I can do. As the breed competition winds down, an Akita and an American Staffordshire Terrier 
prepare for their final hurrah. I'm a little nervous. Today's his last show. He's retiring today. He's like no dog I've ever had in my life. I mean, really, he's just, he's a great AM staff. He's just part of my soul. I mean, he really is. So this, this last day really is something special for us. Nick's feeling great. He's ready, aren't you? Come on, you ready? Yeah. You ready? He's ready. This will be our last Aubrey show together. Back in August, Nick got 100 best in shows. What an honor. It's just bittersweet today. Bittersweet. Louis, just an amazing dog that makes us laugh every single day. My family loves him, and he's just a huge part of our life. I appreciate all the work and effort that he gives me every time we go into the ring. Akitas are unique. If you can get into their head and in their heart, you'll get anything from this dog. For his breed, he's a stallion. He's fun. He's just, he's into it. This is one that's going to be hard to retire for me. It's not a dog like this. Today's just wasn't his day. He loves it no matter what, and he does it purely for me. So no matter what the outcome was, he knows that he made me proud, and that's all that matters to me. along with Wilma and King, will all move on to Madison Square Garden, where tonight, one dog will be crowned best in show. Westminster's grand finale is just hours away, and New York City shines brightly in anticipation of this year's champion. Tonight, the working, sporting, and terrier groups will crown their top dogs, who will then join with last night's winners in the best in show ring. You always want to be able to get the attention of the dog at that crucial moment. Always. The ears forward, looking, a wagging tail. You want another one? Oh, you do. Just trying to get her ready, get her focused. And when you get to the garden, you can just feel the energy. I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing dog show to show your dog at. He's almost ready to go. I probably will have goosebumps because this is his last show. to go on right now. This is a what we call a wet coat. It's cold and wet, which keeps her cold so she doesn't pant too much. Yeah. And kind of keeps her calm a little bit. I just hope that we do our best tonight and just hope she shows good. That's all. May we have the working group in the ring, please. Well, the first thing you're looking for is the dog's body proportions, but really what sets the best ones apart, they'll maintain the same proportions in motion and have the proper work ethics for that breed described. And of course, this is Nick. He's retiring today as the most winning Akita in history. Very popular Wilma. Wilma did a tremendous amount of winning herself last year. She's uh, one of the top contenders here, for sure. We have the Akita. All right, getting yeah, right to right work. Here we go, Nick. That way. Uh, you too. Oh. <laughs> Wilma's out. Let me have the boxer, bitch. Oh, Wilma oh, is being right. pulled out first. Michael Shepard handling. In 2019, working group winner is the boxer. Siberian Husky. Third is the Nicely done. When I took over his leash a year and a half ago, Nick and I never looked back. 
when I walk out that way, we're saying goodbye. It's been quite a ride. Amazing. Like you won the lottery. I don't know where my mind is right now. What's her best characteristic? How would you describe her? Um, her face is amazing, the way it's shaped, and the way she walks. It's really beautiful. And will she retire after the No. Garden? We're going no. all year. One more, one year, more year. Huh? Wilma now has one hour to prepare for the best in show ring, while the sporting group lines up to take the stage. Last year's crowd favorite, Bean, is back to defend his title of group first. May we have the sporting group in the ring, please. I've been breeding dogs in this group for 35 years, so as a judge, I really like to reward dogs on the breed elements. The shape of the ear, the shape of the eye, the proportions, the height, the length, that type of thing. It's as if the Knicks won a game, the way they're acting. <laughs> Bean kind of just decides what I'm going to do. So he just takes the lead, and I follow it. Bean is pulled out in front. Bean does it again. Bean just won the sporting group at Westminster Kennel Club, which is uh, pretty amazing. This is his very last show. But this dog has given me such an amazing, amazing career that he deserves to just be pampered, pampered, pampered for the rest of his life. Now with just 30 minutes until best in show, the Terriers prepare for the final group of the night. Gain is great. He's great. Actually, I had to kind of take him for long walks because he's like too hyper. May we have the Terrier group in the ring, please. King, and he's number one terrier this year, shown by Gabriel Rangel, who's very familiar with the garden. He's won Best in Show here twice before. When it happened to me, I, I literally just stopped crying. You know, it was incredible. Terrier group tonight is the Wire Fox Terrier. King has taken the terrier group. This is something like a dream. It's like Frank Sinatra says, you win here, you win anywhere. King takes the final group crown. Now with just 15 minutes to prepare for the best in show ring, the race to get ready is on. The moment has come for best in show. Judging tonight is an icon of the sport, four-time best in show winner, Peter Green. Oh, Peter Green, a legend. There's nobody who deserves it better. Well, he's earned it. He knows more about dogs than probably anybody on the planet. He's got 60 years at least of dog experience. There couldn't be a better person judging Best in Show than him. I've been doing this so long, I have a good idea what they should look like. So a lot of tonight is about the performance. While seven dogs have won their groups, only six are eligible for judgment in tonight's Best in Show ring. Colton, the non-sporting group winner, will be shown for exhibition only. Westminster Kennel Club is one of the most prestigious events in the world, where integrity is absolutely the utmost important piece. According to AKC rules, if a judge and an owner have a common interest in the dog world, the dog cannot be shown to that particular judge. Once we reach the best in show level, a completely new judge did have a common interest with one of the owners. We're unable to participate. Took it as far as we could go this year. They're big baby dogs, eh? Yeah. yeah. I've had this breed since I've been 10 years old, so to compete among all these top dogs is a wonderful. Everybody dreams about these sort of things, but to be part of it, I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited. No matter what happens, being in that ring is something I will remember for the rest of my life. That's exactly where he's going. Time. Everybody that is in dogs, they're all here. Nobody's missing. And the crowd is ready at 
Madison Square Garden. Waiting to decide who's best in show for 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the seven group winners competing for best in show at the 143rd Westminster Dog Show. The winner of the herding group, Bouvier de Flandre, number seven. Boxer, number 20. Sussex Spaniel, number nine. Long-haired Dachshund, number 68. Wire-haired Fox Terrier, number 14. Havanese, number 25. This is Peter Green's eighth judging assignment at Westminster. How are you, honey? Not bad, how are you? Good, thanks. You come here year after year, you dream of just winning at the Garden. Good, purposeful on the go. Look at that drive from behind. He has had an incredible career. I couldn't have asked any more of this dog. I think the crowd likes this one. He feels the energy. I mean, how could you not feel it? If I can talk to King, I will tell him how proud I am of him. It was a pleasure to work with him. The noise is epic. Not intimidated by the noise at all. It just makes you feel loved. So now he's deciding his reserve best in show, just, which of I'll course is, reserve first. is given okay. first, yeah, and then whatever. best in show. For the love of their dog, they want a winner. <laughs> All right, reserve best in show is the Havanese. Wow! It's reserve best in show. Wow! You too can be on center stage. They're headed over there for best in show. No, I love you all. Every one of you. He's best in show. Oh, the Wire Fox Terrier. Wire Fox Terrier is king again. <laughs> Is, uh, I can't describe. I mean, uh, I don't even know how I am <laughs> here. You know, yes. uh, one of the greatest people I know. I wore this dog best in show tonight, and it's never comparable with that. While only one dog can be crowned best in show, all who've graced the garden floor are celebrated as the finest examples of their breeds. Sometimes you end up losing, but your dog puts on such a performance that it feels just as good as winning. To be chosen second, it's surreal. It's just, who can think of things like this? This is incredible. Whether their careers are just ramping up. This year, we're gonna go all year long. We're, we're leaving tomorrow for shows. Or have come to an end. This is it, no more dog shows. He's just gonna go and live a life of leisure probably get a little chunky, like me, <laughs> and just uh, enjoy it, you know? I'm starting a brand new dog, so hopefully he'll follow the Mars's footsteps. The next dog continues on. While only one dog leaves with a big ribbon, all handlers leave with the ultimate prize, a loving and loyal companion.